such a crazy thought that I'm already editing this 2020 setup plan with me video. But first, let me start with my December flip through. I'm still in love with how it looks and how it sparkles in the sunshine. During the filming of my setup, I realized the top camera did not record my first two pages, so bear with me through the start where I re-record the cover page and connect it to the existing footage. But now, onto my 2022 setup. I'm working in the April Showers Journal from Archer and Olive. It's in this gorgeous lilac shade. And if you want to have a journal like this as well, I do have an affiliate code. Use Amber's Notebooks 10 for 10% off your entire purchase. So let's start with drawing my name on the very first page. For 2022, I decided to go for a bright and fun color scheme for the terrazzo. This theme has been inspired by at kla.journals on Instagram, so be sure to check this page out. The link will be in the description. But back to the cover page. I've started with outlining the numbers. For the terrazzo, I'm always starting with the Tumble Duo brush pen in the yellow shade, followed by this periwinkle, after that the lilac, and after that the pink, and lastly a light grey to fill in some blank spots. The exact colors that I'm using will be in the description. The terrazzo is very simple. I'm just drawing random shapes in various sizes and colors. And I make sure to leave enough white space and it automatically will look amazing. It will also look great with all kinds of color schemes, so it's very versatile. With all the colors, I go over the spread once again to fill in some empty spots with the colors that I'm missing. And voila! That's all for the cover page. Next up is the future look. Last year, I taught myself to keep referring back to it. I had a lot of appointments planned in the future, and it helped me to remember birthdays as well. I'm starting with the terrazzo on top. You know the drill, it's quite easy. For the sake of time, I'm only showing you one of the two spreads, but they're made exactly the same. And again, with some magic, they're colored in. 
With a 0 to 2 micron fineliner, I'm drawing the outlines of the name of the months. slowly filling in the spots that are supposed to be lighter. Have the numbering. This seriously crammed my hand so badly, but in the end it does look so satisfying. that are the weekends, which gives a nice extra touch to the spread. Now the spread is done, you can also see the first part of the half year. And I'm super annoyed by the fact that February and March have the same weekend days, since it looks like I made a mistake. Now my 2022 achievements and at a glance page. I decided that for 2022, I didn't want to make a goal page. For the past two years, it has only been a reminder of what I couldn't do, so this time I'm going to drop anything on there that I see as an achievement, big or small. And I hope that in the end of the year, I have a nice page full of happy memories instead of painful reminders. seeing me draw the titles of both the pages and as soon as those are finished i'm drawing the calendars to avoid mistakes in the numbering i drew the outlines of the calendar beforehand and i only made one mistake and if you can't tell, I'm very proud of myself for that. As soon as the calendars are done, I'm highlighting the months, and then it was time for the Toronto part. This was such a satisfying theme to make, since it's very easy and relaxing to do. Especially if you were able to include all of your favorite colors in it.
last spread of my 2022 setup for this video. It is my followers tracker and grid spacing page. For my followers tracker, I had a Polaroid kind of idea where every 500 followers, the Polaroid would be fully colored and not have an outline. However, I messed up during the inking part, so I went back in and gave all of the Polaroids an outline since that was easier than fixing it. as colorful as possible, I decided to grab the four colors and gave each of the boxes a drop shadow, unless it was a four half number, but I think that I don't really need to explain this. It's time for the titles of both pages. by the Terrazzo part. The first flip through for 2022. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It contains all of my favorite colors and it just, it just makes me smile. You like my video and if you are new here make sure to check out my other videos and maybe like a subscribe comment down below if you were starting a bullet journal this year thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye